What's up guys, this is Void of Dust Gaming and I am back after a short pause. I have been pretty sick and I wasn't able to record any videos because that would have just been something that you won't listen to or you don't want to listen to because I really sounded pretty pretty bad. Um, uh, everything was kind of swollen and stuff, lots of things going on in my nose. So here we are with some old video. I wasn't able to record something. So this is some pre-recorded game where I wanted to show some tell and us thing. As I have the feeling I'm getting better with her and I just wanted to show you some series laning style. This game is one where you will see seven up to eight minutes of laning. Um, I will be defeated once just as some kind of spoiler for the people who are interested in how to lane against a standard dual laning situation. So we've got the Orma and we've got the Yawn here. And as you can see, I've got Greg. So this is pretty standard. This is pretty viable. This is pretty good. Nothing too strange about this team composition. So this is kind of something that you will have Hopefully most of the times, but as we know, Arena of Valor players are strange folks and you will end up with Tulans, Magangas all over the place, even if you are asking for a regular support if you are the AD carry. And this is a really nice situation where the Grog was able to land a good hit, but then the Yon did a good job on stunning me, so I wasn't able to use my range extension um popping out my one and there we go nothing happened so far after one minute and 30 seconds of this pretty pretty standard game i would say so here comes the butterfly in and we are able to defeat her that could have been easily a kill for me which would have, would have been good because i need the farm um but the grag decided to pop his Two, or his one, it's his one, is his one is the damage skill, so, well, never mind, we got the kill. Mm. We are in a leading position, and this isn't too shabby, because we are still having the upper hand here. And we already scored one of the first kills in the game. Guys, for the people who are interested in some Ceres gameplay, she has been released yesterday in Germany. Of course, I have been picking her up. Um, as I said, I just wasn't able to get some, get some footage yet. So you will have to wait until hopefully tomorrow. The games that I have been playing with Ceres have always been, or I wanted to try Ceres, have always been some games where someone else was able to pick her first. So I have only one or two games up my sleeves with her yet. And as you know, this is not enough. And here we see a bad mistake. My positioning wasn't perfect. Uh, in fact, it was not perfect at all because Butterfly was able to score the triple kill bringing the other team in the leading position. I was really, I wanted to get the yawn but I was just walking way too far out of my comfort zone. I should have stayed back and just uh, set those two arrows into yawn in order to kill him and then retreat immediately as with the Raz and his strong control effects I wasn't really Helpful here. So this is something that I have to bear in mind. Positioning is key and it is especially for Talhanas uh, because she is someone who is at first extending her range and afterwards she is having her range decreased and unlucky for us the Grug wasn't able to get the hook here. That would have been quite nice but this is some of the situations where we are able to get the Abyssal Dragon. We pull him back quite nicely. That was a really good move from my team. They moved to the left and that was something where we were able to con not only get him but to contest him because otherwise the other team would have been able to get 
the Abyssal Dragon and as you guys know the Abyssal Dragon especially early game is quite important it gives gold as well as experience points for the whole team and this is just something which is really really useful if you want to dominate not only lane but also the game and good thing is I get my first item here I'm not able to get it because I'm concentrated fighting but this is the first item and it is one of the most important items as from this point onwards I will get more critical chances it's an item that Quillen loves as well as every other AD carry who is dealing physical damage your crit chances stack up um, and it's just so viable if you wanna have those crits here comes the armor, doing a really good job on kind of distracting me with his control facts. In fact, I haven't played armor in the whole game after I had a couple of games with him where I was defeated and that was my early days of Arena of Valor. And now he's got a complete rehearsal, um, like a refurbishment of his kit, completely renewed. I don't know what he's able to do. It somehow looks similar when he procs stuff, but I have to check him out, but I just have so many heroes right now because of the vouchers that I got and it's just a complete mess because I just don't know what to do. Like the new heroes are coming out, the old heroes are coming out, like if anyone has a certain request, if you want to see a certain hero, just name it, like it doesn't, it doesn't really matter if it's one of the old heroes, if it's one of the new heroes, just ask for it, like that would really help me and make my life easier because then I would knew what you guys want to watch and what you need more footage of like it it, it will just help <clears throat> even if I'm not the best player to see what decisions do other players do because that is it will be different from your play style so that's going to help you anyway so if you have a certain request if you want to see a certain hero just write it in the comments below like feel free to ask me anything that you want to like um, in the last Last uh, Vero videos, I just realized, or I just, I got this this user who was telling me about um, him being from Indonesia and that my pronunciation is is not the correct one because in Indonesia you will pronounce it otherwise, and that's just as cool. Like I like the fact that people from all around the world are playing Arena of Valor, even if it has different names all over the globe. But hey, it's cool. Like we're a big community, we do have fun together, and we, and this. It just shows how international it is if you get heroes from Indonesia now, even on the European service, because he is one of the main features, like he's some kind of like a folk hero there. So this is, I think it's pretty, it's a pretty, pretty cool community that we're building up because uh, compared to LOL, we are not that toxic. Of course, you always have a player who cannot really uh, cope with the fact that he's losing, but that's, that's just life. That's just game. That's just how things happen. And as you can see, we got some pretty decent killing stuff going on here. I'm able to um, get the 4-1. It was a really nice team fight. The Zephyr says is here. Uh, really nice team fight. It helps to have an eye on the team composition, on how you roll. And I'm taking some tower shots here for my team so that we can get the tower in total pretty much unharmed team-wise. And right now, because I've got some, I've got some items. I'm able to heal up at least a bit. Now I've got the tempest blades here because right now I am going for the shiv. And check, check out this, uh, check out this situation. You will see a pretty good entry from the butterfly pretty soon. But the bad thing is that she, she discalculated here. We are able to wipe out at like almost her entire team. And I'm, again, I'm doing some positioning stuff that, was, that wasn't the best situation because I was moving towards her and that's a really big mistake that you can actually make the closer you are together, the better it is for the butterfly because she has area of effect damage and she will use it to punish you. So this is something pretty bad and good thing that we get, um, good thing that we get the Raz here because that is just something that you want to achieve and I was quite surprised how bad the Skud was in this situation like 
Smart. Not in terms of the player, like he might not be that experienced with Scud, but Scud is like a one-hit wonder machine. He just buffs up his two, he smashes you into the ground. Like I couldn't stand two hits from, from Scud um, taking Talonassus really uh, short or really small armor that she's wearing. Like he's basically one-shotting me without a problem, so... That was pretty surprising, but without any further ado, I'm able to get the lane here. Like, I really stick to my lane, I really want to push those towers. And right now, what we are doing is to punish the enemy jungler for not being in his jungle, for not getting his creeps here. And we're doing a really solid job getting the minions here, putting pressure on the tower. And not... Even the Yawn cannot really defend it here, that doesn't really matter. Um, we're able to put at least some damage on the tower and we are able to finish it off afterwards because there's just another lane coming and I'm looking for the butterfly, like that's that's something I want her, like I'm looking, I'm like a bloodhound, I want to check out the butterfly but then the butterfly of course isn't here anymore. Um, and look at look at those beautiful big numbers that you can get from the crit uh, improvement that you get from the cleave sancti weapon. That's really making a difference. Like if you take that one thousand one hundred per shot, that is really some damage that even the tankiest tanks cannot take loads of. And good thing is they don't even have a real tank. Like they've got the scud, but then scud is not. A premier tank he's not one of the tankiest characters in the game that would be someone else and now we have to be careful because the butterfly is sitting in that brush there you can check that out and now the scud miscalculates that we have the onslaught emily is able to pick him up quite easily and there comes the butterfly and there's the defeat and we we're, we're adopting pretty well like that is one of the main factors that depend if you are winning or losing a game we do we do really fast adopt to the situation we change our strategy and we were able to do that here as well and i'm getting into the tower dealing damage to the tower just in order to get the tower for my team and as you can see it's slowly slowly but that does the job and now our minions go in there and I'm going into I'm going into the jungle just to heal up a little bit because I'm not that healthy anymore but it doesn't really matter sitting on 6 to uh, 25 to 14 kills we have pushed every single lane it's re looking really really nicely uh, we haven't really lost towers like just a single tower has been lost throughout the game and as you can see I could have run with the beast like that would would have been an improvement i think i will reconsider my build if i'm going to play Talonas um, again because the beast is really something that helps you with the sustainability uh throughout the game it's really strong in terms of the attack damage that you get on top of it and you get this massive life steal and you just need a short jungle clear to be full afterwards and with Talonas and the other AD carries, it's so important that you got your health at least to the max because you are not a tank, you are not a warrior, you can't stun that much damage and that's just that's just pretty bad. But look at how much damage you do with that crit stacking up there. Like that Yorn, he doesn't have a single chance. I just I just killed him. He did not know what hit him, and I'm here with a double kill. Um, able to get my ult into the armor that's the triple kill here and without any further problems the whole team arrives we've got the minions as a backup and after 14 short minutes this is game there you go that's how you do it so telling us is great especially for new characters and people who want to learn or want to practice how to AD carry because of her massive range that she gets from her range extender and it doesn't cost that much mana so you're able to spam that again and again 
she's pretty good because you can practice your positioning and that's something that I need to improve even further because my positioning is not the best but I would advise that for newer players if you want to use that and if you want to learn that use telling us she's really really good on helping you to become a better ad carry so that was the void of dust gaming the series video will be online by tomorrow if i can get the chance to play her thank you for tuning in again i will play more often after being sick so there will be more videos to come and have a nice weekend guys i wish you the best this was void of dust gaming bye bye